hello guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi i'm reagan and i'm gonna make this like a little get ready with me i haven't done one of these it's gonna be like a start to finish kind of thing um but i do like my makeup probably my hair and then i'll pick out an outfit if i can find one but i'm just going to dinner with my mom um but I thought I would sit down and do like a little get ready with me. This isn't going to be like a chit chat one. Honestly, just going to have y'all get ready with me. I don't really have much to say. But I thought I would just, you know, come on here and do my makeup and get cute in front of y'all. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, so I'm just going to just going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to mist my face with this Olay mist. And it has vitamin C and bergamot in it, which I don't know what it specifically does except vitamin C, obviously. But Y'all, this just feels so good. I don't know why. I like to put it on before everything, and then I also put it on after. I also just use this when I'm, like, about to go outside, like, to tan or swim. I, this is, like, this is a part of my new skincare routine, so it's literally just a mist with, like, vitamin C and bergamot in it, but it says energizing, so it feels good. Honestly, it really does. I already moisturized and hydrated my lips. I used the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Glaze. Y'all, this is, like... This is a game changer. This feels so good on my lips. You can actually wear it as a mask, mask too overnight. But I mean like I just wear it as like a lip balm or something and it feels so good. And then I used this oil by Monate and I just did this to hydrate my lips and keep them nice and moisturized. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my concealer. I just got this brand new. Um, this one is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's for treatment makeup and this one is their concealer. Obviously, you can tell the difference of how big they are, but this one's really light for me, and I kind of want, like, a more natural color right now, so I'm going to go for this, just because I keep getting tanner, like, literally day by day. I haven't even tried this on my skin yet, so we will see how this looks. And I'm literally just taking, like, a little concealer brush, because I'm going to, like, basically, like, paint it under my eyes, because I don't want, like, a lot of concealer. If y'all know me, I don't like a lot of stuff on my face like that. Ooh, or should I put BB cream on? I got a new BB cream and I'm actually loving it. Or should I keep it more natural? I think I'm gonna keep it more natural today. Yeah. Okay, concealer. Y'all, I didn't even prime my face. Like, oh, I always be doing this. I, I have to prime my face, especially if I'm wearing concealer. Rewind. Okay, I'm gonna prime my face with two things. This is the Professional by Benefit, minimizes pores, and then this is the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. I'm sure y'all heard of this, y'all. I really do love her. She is pretty good, and y'all, this is the mini version. I love her. I have a nice base for my concealer now and also since I use like cream contour and stuff that will stick on a lot better. So okay, now I'm gonna go in and conceal. Okay, we are concealed. This color is in 190 Nude, and then this one is the actual concealer, and it's in Light Pale 120, which is why it was so light, and I got like a little darker one. And this isn't necessarily concealer, but y'all, it works the same. They also have, well, this one has SPF in it, so honestly, I would like to use this one more anyway, so. I'm gonna go in and set that now. This is the Maybelline Loose Powder, and it's in like the lightest shade ever. There's not really any color to it, for me at least. And I'm not going to bake. I'm literally just going to set it. Okay, I have a really smooth base right here. I don't know if the lighting is really good. Oh, I look so pale. 
I don't know if the lighting's really good, but I have a really smooth base right here. Like, this is the smoothest it's ever been. And I'm having, like, a good skin week, so I'm not breaking out anywhere. So I really don't need foundation or anything. So it looks really smooth, like, all the way around now. And, like, you can barely see my pores. This is, this is what I want. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows. Okay, I'm just going to, like, set my eyebrows in a place where I want them. So when I go and fill those in later, we'll be good. Okay, I think I'm going to start on some eyes real quick. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Um, let me figure that out. Okay, I stole some palettes from my sister's room just now. This one is, ooh, this one is the Violet Boss Essentials Pro Series palette. And it just had some cool colors in there for like summer or something. I'm thinking I want to do like a very like neutral eye and then in the inner corner kind of like blending it out here, some color, some type of color, I don't know. And then I stole this Touch and Soul Fill Up Orange. I've never heard of this brand before, but like it's a pretty palette. So I don't know what I'm gonna use yet, but let's go ahead and do like the neutral side, so. Okay, I'm gonna take an e.l.f. blending brush and go in with my Proof is in the Put-In palette. Y'all, this actually has a lot of good colors. It's very kind of neutral too, um, but I'm gonna take, I think, Nana Put-In, which is down here, because um, it's a good like base color. Okay, I'm going to darken it up a little bit and go in with bread pudding. It's just like a little lighter brown. Okay, so my lid is pretty um, light. I kind of just defined the crease with that darker brown, but it's like really, really light. So, and I want it like, I kind of wanted my lid to be like all one color, kind of neutral light, um, and then have the pop of color. So, let's try this, because I've never done this before. Um, I don't even know what palette I'm gonna use. So, I probably will speed through this and then let y'all know. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Um, I kind of want to add like a little sparkle or something, something. I don't know. Let me see if I can see. I hope the lighting is like okay in here. Probably look crazy right now, but I feel like once the lashes and stuff come together, I think it'll be good. I don't know what I'm going to do for my under eye though. Okay, I'm going to see if I can add like a little sparkle of something. I don't know what not that okay we'll just see with this okay i'm gonna do some cream contour real quick just a little bit not too much and this is my milk makeup cream contour stick in the shade baked and i'm just gonna take my real technique brush 200 Okay, I kind of don't want my cream contour too heavy because I'm just wearing makeup like for the night. So I'm going to go in with some powder bronzer now. This is my Sephora one in the shade Costa Rica and it's a pretty dark shade. But I'm going to take the same brush and do like circle motions and like blend that. If y'all don't know me, I don't like to have like 
so much brightness right here by my eye like right under the corner of my eye so i always like bronze like all of this and then i'll blend it with like my blush later but just so y'all aren't looking at me crazy that i'm bronzing like all the way up there i think that's how i want to be snatched I'm going to do my eyebrows now. i am kind of been like in the mood of not making them so, I mean, I like the natural eyebrow look anyways. I don't like to shape them or define them or anything. So I'm just gonna make them a little bit darker. I don't want like, I don't want you to be able to tell that I like put powder. Like, I mean, this is a gel liner, but sometimes it comes off as like powdery once I like blend it out with this brush. Dang, I lost the cap spot. I don't think this one fits on it. Okay, whatever. But when I brush out my eyebrow, like, I don't know. It makes it look a certain way that I'm not really feeling these days. So we'll see. I'm gonna do some blush now and I'm gonna take these two shades this one is L'Oreal's blush please and it's blush and Riviera number 11 and then this one is just a Sephora brand and this color is so shy number two I absolutely love this one for summer it's like this cool little peachy color and then this one's like a gold like rose gold it has some like some like gold sparkles in it and stuff so like I don't really wear like highlight I just put this on and makes me look good so I'm gonna go in with this one first because it has like no shimmer to it This one is way more pigmented than the Sephora one, and that's why I did it second, and also because it has that shimmer to it. Um, I'm gonna go and take the excess bronzer on my bronzer brush, and I'm just gonna go over it on my nose and kind of melt that blush that I just put on my nose and the bronzer together. And then also to, um, I don't know if y'all saw my summer makeup tutorial or video, I like to do this little bronzer trick right here because I don't like my eyes so pale right there even though I did conceal but makes it smooth and everything. Kind of looks like I'm naturally tan right here and I didn't just take it away with concealer. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off now. What? <laughs> what? I'm sitting here trying to wipe it off and it's not coming off. Okay, this side did. I'm so confused. I think it's because my beauty blender was still a little too damp from my concealer hmm that was weird but I look really snatched okay I think my face is good I just feel like I need a bronze like a lot more or something okay we're gonna go ahead and do mascara lashes all that and I'm gonna do it off camera because I need to concentrate Okay y'all, I'm back and I've done my mascara. I put my lashes on. So the mascara that I use is also from Milk Makeup. This was like a little trial one. So, um, what is it? The Kush Mascara. I honestly love it. I will buy the bigger one, but I probably won't run out of this anytime soon. 
And then the false lashes I use, I actually cut them um, just the corners of them, put them only on the corner of my eyes. And they're the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're my favorite lash ever, and I don't even use the full one. And like, look how full my lashes are. Um, I just put them on the outer corner, and it literally looks like I kind of have like lash extensions. So that's the vibe I'd like to go for. And now for lips, I'm gonna use a Sephora lipstick. This is in the color. I'm not sure the color. I think it's L22. Um, I thought it would have a name, but I guess not. And then this is a Kylie lipstick. I don't know which one, but it's a Kylie gloss. I want to say it's from the Coco collection, but yeah, I don't actually know. And then I'm just going to line my lips with a Wet n Wild lip liner. So, yeah. Okay, and that is it for my lips. I added a little of my powder so I can make it, ooh, so I can make it matte or just like a little, not as shiny as it was because I know it will fade throughout the night. So like, I kind of want to keep the color on my lips as long as I can. So here is the final makeup look. I didn't add highlight because I'm not really a highlight girl. My blush kind of has like a shimmer gold in it. So it kind of like bounces off like with light and stuff. So I'm going to leave it at that, but I think I'm pretty happy with this look i'm going to probably just straighten my hair because i don't think i have time to do anything big with it and then i'll pick out an outfit and show y'all because i have no clue what i'm wearing okay here is my outfit i just have my jordans on and then i have these silk like cargo pants and then i just have literally a sports bra on and then my leather jacket and I think the pants are from like Forever 21. I think this is also from Forever 21 or Windsor. Um, sports bra, I'm not sure. It's literally just a black sports bra. And then for my hair, I literally just strained it, made it sleek, and I added some texturizing spray so it can like kind of have a little bit more body into it instead of just being like sleek straight on my face. All right, but that is the end of this get ready with me. Let me know what y'all think about these videos. I kind of do them in my vlogs, but like they're really fast and stuff. They're nothing like too in depth or anything. But um, as I'm putting on more makeup and going out more, I'm just going to dinner with my mom, but I actually do that frequently. So I'll make some more of these if y'all like them. Just give it a thumbs up and let me know. Also subscribe before y'all leave and hope to see y'all in my next videos.